Space Force Security Forces. Mm, not exactly, but this is the closest you're gonna get. Ignition sequence start. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. What is going on guys? Welcome back for those returning, but if you're brand new to the channel, I go by Space Jam Tactical. I've been in the Air Force for about nine years, and last September, I recently transferred into active duty Space Force. So there's a lot of misunderstanding of what we actually do, and I try to bring that inside perspective to you guys to give you guys a better understanding of what this new branch actually does. So space operations isn't just solely one job. You have different mission areas such as space lift, missile warning, command and control. And on the other hand, security forces is pretty similar. There's not just one job in security forces. You can also move up to be a canine handler, a CADM instructor, so those weapon instructors. They also have Ravens. Although last year I did deploy overseas to a security forces squadron while I was force protection, and I kind of got that inside perspective of how security forces squadrons are ran and operated, and just having that kind of mentality opposed to being in a normal space squadron from what I was used to. Depending on the squadron and what exactly you do, there's different missions and so security forces is primarily security and protection of Air Force assets, Air Force people, personnel. Um, when you're in a space squadron, you know, your primary job is operating whatever space system you're doing. So there's similarities, but there's a lot of big differences. You know, from what I saw when I was over there, being in security forces and you have the job of security and ensuring people are safe, you can't be timid. So a lot of security forces, uh, personnel and people in security forces are quite the opposite. You know, you kind of get that like security forces have that alpha personality. Also have the more vocal group who yell and grunt in order to seek attention from all surrounding homo sapiens. This is for America! Sadly, the loud noises are their best show of dominance, as their actual performance is severely lacking. And then sometimes for space people, you know, since we're operating, we're just kind of more like nerds, like space nerds, but you know, it, it was pretty cool to see how that was compared to what I was used to. More specifically today, we're going to be talking about the Elite Guard. The 21st Security Forces Squadron over at Peterson Air Force Base and Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station stood up a Security Forces Elite Guard flight. Now, that sounds pretty cool because I have never heard of what an Elite Guard is. So I did some research. They had a video on YouTube for an Elite Guard back at Andrews Air Force Base a couple years ago, and here it is. You're all set. Welcome to a base Andrews. Have a great day. If you visited Joint Base Andrews recently, you may have noticed something a little different about the gate. It feels good to be in blue. You gotta love it. Gotta These love These guys it. are a few... <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I, Being in the military, I, I don't know a lot of people that love being in blues, but if you do, more power to you. Gotta These love These guys it. are a few <laughs> members of Joint Base Andrews' very this first... This is like 1999. Gonna be up here every day from now on, man. That's awesome. You guys are the Elite Guard got its start in 1956 at the Strategic Air Command Headquarters in Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska. With the Cold War at its peak, General Curtis LeMay decided something had to be done to protect war nations with vital bases from espionage and sabotage. Thus began a command-wide search for the Air Force's most elite police so to me, it sounds like the Security Forces Elite Guard is there more to showcase a sharp and professional image in regards to supporting the Space Force mission. I'm not sure if there's really any difference in regards to their security and their law enforcement aspect, but if it gives them a sense of ownership to the mission, um, I'd, I think that's awesome. So the Elite Guard that are part of the 21st Security Forces Squadron can be distinguished by their brassards and ascots that both bear the Space Force Delta symbol. And I gotta be honest with you, I much would rather wear that compared to the blues like the Andrews Air Force Base had because to be honest with you, I don't know anyone in the military or in the Air Force that said they like wearing their blues. They're just not as comfortable. They're definitely sharp for like ceremonial things, but for a day-to-day -day job in operation, they're not very comfortable to be wearing, um, especially if you're conducting security outside. Um, just my personal preference. So basically, they have a black brassard and a black ascot, like we were saying. Back in the day when we still had ABUs, they would wear a brassard that said security forces, and it would just show and identify that they were security forces. I believe force protection also wore brassards, um, so I was deployed as force protection. 
when we transferred from AVUs to OCPs, they added this Velcro. And the cool thing about this Velcro is you can add a special identifier patch. So when I deployed, you can see we have FP and there's also different special identifier patches. You know, you have FP, security forces, um, medics. So we have something that showcases what your job is. I'm not sure why they brought the facade back, but if it is to showcase that professional image, then it's really not that bad. I don't think those things are too uncomfortable. I've never had to wear one because again, when I deployed, I was wearing OZPs. The Ascot, I've never worn an Ascot before. I think Honor Guard and some security forces wear them. They look a little uncomfortable, but it is sharp. And then they also have their space for as a Delta face mask, but I'll give it to them. It definitely looks pretty sharp and it kind of sets them apart from normal security forces. And it shows that these are the guys that are contributing to the protection and security of our space force assets. So reading straight off the article, one of the NCOs said, they cultivate professional, knowledgeable, and proficient airmen specializing in installation access control while securing Peterson Air Force Base and Shy Mountain Air Force Station. So it does sound like not too different of what a normal security forces squadron does. Maybe they have different tactics or <laughs> tactics. Nice. <laughs> Maybe they have different tactics, techniques, and procedures. I'm not quite sure. We're not going to get too much into that, but I am curious to what you guys think. What do you guys think of this Air Force Security Forces Elite Guard? Is it something cool? Is it something that other security forces squadrons are like, mm, I'm not sure if we want to implement that to our guys. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Damn and like this video. And if you guys want some more Space Force news, military content, me running around in Hawaii, then I would suggest you subscribe and I really would appreciate it. But as always, stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.